Alright, I'm back. So, yeah. Time to try this again. All right, take three. <laughs> <laughs> Take four. <laughs> All right, take five. <clears throat> All right, let's see what I can do with this. Oh damn it. Two, three. Okay. One. There we go. Right. There we go. Uh oh. God damn it. Oh, I keep missing. There we go. That works out. Damn acid. Oh my gosh, why do I keep missing? Alright. That one died. So that's good. Change your weapons. No, you don't. You duck under this and crouch. All right, you try to grab me. All right. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Just keep this up. And I'll keep up. How much is needed? All right. Uh oh. No. 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 <laughs> All right, just burn this thing to death. Yay! Finally. <laughs> wow. Well, um, guess if anybody like this part, comment, like, favorite, subscribe. I'll see you all later. Peace out. Hey everybody, this is the Titanic Gamer Dude here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Resident Evil 7 on Madhouse Difficulty. Last episode, we <laughs> had a lot of um, just problems with the fat molded, but uh, now it's actually over with. So, there's a first aid med. 
And yeah, the number is 1146. It's different every single time from what I've noticed. Antique coin. So now let's actually... Oh, we actually have to hit this button for the stairs. And uh, coming up shortly is the fat molded fight. I mean, not fat molded fight, but um, the fight with uh, Jack Baker again. So, um... <clears throat> Yeah, the fight is actually, um, it can get fairly ugly, but uh, before we actually go there, we actually have to uh, do this puzzle. The puzzle is not actually all that difficult, thankfully. So yeah, Lucas appears behind us and he closes the door. So here's a candle, and uh, what we have to do is we have to put this candle on that cake, right? So before we actually can, we have to go through a series of puzzles. And the puzzle has to do with like using this wind-up toy to move the doll. To actually activate the doll, along with the finger and the another doll we get, but um, we can just do this right here. So it's a hanging girl with that, and then looks like a grave, and the last one's a fetus. See so yeah, that opens it up, and see so yeah, there's the doll. But you don't actually need to get the doll, actually. All you really need to do is turn the stove on. Yeah, and you're supposed to like reach in the toilet and get that right there, but you don't actually need that either. So what we do is we just light the candle on the stove. Of course, we have to go our inventory to light it. Can't just light it manually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we just burn this rope. Open up the door. There's a bunch of balloons. Crouch here. Get that balloon. Uncrouch ourselves. And then, like, you're supposed to, like, go back there and pop it and get the pen. And, um, the doll will write on your arm loser. And then you come over here and you, you know, you just scroll up and down until you spell loser. And there, it unlocks. We get the valve handle. And we go back to the room, with the cake on it, come over here, we turn the ball handle. And now we can stop, it, st it just stops the water from just blocking you. And now we put the candle on the cake. Happy freaking birthday, gotta lie. So there's a ticking noise you'll hear, and then kaboom. But since we didn't use the wind-up toy, I mean we didn't take the wind out, the wind-up toy out of the barrel. <laughs> it doesn't ignite the room. So uh, we take this piece of wood off, and he puts a dynamite down here. It's a time bomb, and we just put it in here, and uh, we wait. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, kaboom. <laughs> and there we go. And now we have the D-Series head. Along with the D-Series arm. And there they are on camera in the tool shed. There's some cassette tapes here. And, uh, yeah, we don't actually need this balloon. Uh, where's the crank? This is the last time the crank's actually going to be useful. So, uh, we just go out here. Wow, no controller found. 
Oh, god dang it. Don't do this, please. Please don't do this. Alright, thank goodness. So we just used the crank on this. And now we can actually just put the crank back in, in the box and just box it for good. So, yep. The crank's usefulness is now gone. Thankfully. Now we put the crank back. We actually need the D-Series arm and the D-Series head. So I'll just uh, put them both in the corner. Yeah, we need that. I can take the knife. And, uh, do I want to use burner fuel? Uh, it's a tough question. But, um, uh, yeah, I totally do. There we go. Yeah, handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, point of defense, secret of defense. Um, yes, that's definitely useful. Yes, that's definitely useful. Two flame rounds. The, no, you want to save the neural rounds. Alright, we're all reloaded and good. Now let me save. Yeah. Had to actually start the fight with the two molded over. Because I just wanted to take a break. Why did I take those out? That was... Oh, those are the cassette tapes. <laughs> me doubting myself was stupid. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty much fine now, but, uh, yeah, I have three enhanced handgun bullets. I wonder why I didn't go pick those up. Whatever, I'll just deal without them. Yeah, so coming up here, there's going to be, uh, molded that are going to spawn, but they're not going to spawn immediately. They're only going to spawn when we're coming back on this part of the, uh, the bridge. Well, they're going to spawn from this direction, the direction I'm coming from. And yeah, when well, we have to go over there, but before we can actually go over there, we actually need to come over here and, uh, wait, don't we need to crank? Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh man. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? <laughs> oh man. Let me just cut it and then get to the places I need to go. Alright, I'm back. It's that minor stupid indiscretion. You can actually move on. Hopefully I won't actually die because there will be molded that will spawn. And uh, one of those molded is the nefarious four-legged molded. So uh, yeah, I'm in the green right now. And uh, if I die, it's totally my fault. I'll just pull out the shotgun in case, you know, I mess up. Yeah. Why is this enemy so tanky? There we go. So no enemies have spawned it yet except for that molded. And then, yeah, when we come over here, see they just randomly spawn. So, uh, you can just quickly make a right and you can quickly avoid them yeah that's exactly what you want to do and then coming up here another four legged molded you can just shoot it normally and then there's going to be a molded that spawns here but uh... you can totally just close the door on them then they both despawn so yeah coming up here there's going to be a lot of handgun ammunition and uh, there's going to be quite a bit of herbs, and there's going to be chem fluids, and this is going to be a lot of good stuff here you can get. So uh, we actually do not need the crank anymore. Yeah, there's another cassette tape. 
Yeah, there's some more handgun ammo. <laughs> more shotgun shells. Even more handgun ammo. Yeah, they give you a lot of handgun ammo here. So, that's actually very generous. You're actually going to need all this ammo too. There's even gunpowder here. So, uh, for now, let me uh, just deposit that stuff. Now, what do I want to separate and mix together? I guess that's the tricky question of the day right now. Although I do believe I'm pretty good on ammo for Ethan because after this we're going to be playing as Mia. And uh, yeah, that part can actually be somewhat difficult. Alright, handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, flame round. Do I want to use any of the separating agent? Or the only separating agent? Uh, do I? Yeah, we can actually get like chem fluid with this. You know what? No. We don't, we don't need, we don't need that. Uh, I'll just go with the basics. We need that herb. And yes, we can use some more ammo. Like, trust me, I'm going to just use those right off the bat. But, uh, yeah. I'm just going to save the game here, though. And the reason why I will is because the jack fight will take a while. So, um, if anybody liked this part, comment, like, favorite, subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye.